right, hello. Today we're going to look at Kubernetes uh, monitoring and combination with being deployed in a Google Cloud. Uh, so what we have here is we're monitoring a Google Cloud environment uh, as well as a Kubernetes Docker environment. And what we're going to show is the ability to monitor microservices and the data that's being collected across multiple containers. And we're also going to show uh, what happens when there's a sort of a failure or something happens in the environment, how the orchestrator will automatically uh, detect and rebuild the environment. Now, just before we started the, uh, the recording here, we went ahead over into the Google Cloud environment, and what we did is we essentially killed one of the compute instances that is feeding this map as you see it now. Uh, if we look at a console view, we can start to see that uh, the Kubernetes environment has started to spin up new nodes. It's starting to learn about the new environment that's being built out. So while that kind of runs in the background, and we'll, keep, we'll check back on this, uh, let's go ahead and take a look, go back to the map view, and we'll drill into a few uh, different nodes on the map and take a look at the metrics that we're collecting. So the, the first one uh, that's going to load up here is this top layer, the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, we're going to go and look at a 12-hour window, and we can see the statistics that are coming in from the devices, the nodes that make up the cluster. So this is an aggregated view of what's happening, et cetera, number of different KPIs, as well as the performance data that is being collected at that cluster level. We can also come down a little bit further and we can drill in, we'll drill in, excuse me, into a node view. And with the Kubernetes node, what we get to see is we see the aggregation of what's happening with all of the Docker containers that make up that node. Uh, so here we have, again, key performance indicators. We have the different performance metrics of all the different things that make up the data collection set. And here you'll notice there's actually uh, Docker dynamic apps. We have Kubernetes, uh, Linux. When we discover the environment, we are getting data from multiple different data sources and we're combining all that together in the data lake and all of this uh, discovery and alignment happens automatically upon discovery of the kubernetes environment and all this gets gets aligned and collected all right so let's see what's happening we have a uh, this lit up blue so something's starting to ha happen here with the from the map view uh, we have a number of new activity. So we're starting to see new nodes being created, new dynamic applications being aligned to that data collection that I just mentioned. Uh, so we're starting to see lots of things starting to happen. Uh, we're getting notifications of new child components found. And we'll start to see in the tree, we'll start to see new things being uh, built out here. Now this is a view that we put together for looking at different microservices that are out there. And for the different microservices, what we can see is their historical, uh, we can see their performance on a few of the different uh, key performance indicators here, like controller, uh, page faults. And what we actually have is a comparison. So for instance, here on the this statistics, we can see what's happening, what is it running like today versus how it was running yesterday. So yesterday it was running constantly. We only had two page faults. Uh, suddenly we started you know, actually breaking things intentionally uh, and we can start to see we're having uh, some performance differences starting to appear here in the graphs. So we can actually look at any of the different uh, kind of containers that are out there. Uh, we're seeing new ones uh, in, being uh, activated or, or um, impacted by the changes we're making. And we can go ahead and you know take a look at different data sets and, and do different sorts of comparative analysis on the different pieces of data we're collecting from different containers in the environment. All right, well, we can see now on the map, we're starting to see some of those changes impacted. So on the right-hand side here, you'll see that we have spun up that new node uh, exists and the new Docker containers. So this is the beginning of the visualization. And over time, what will happen is we'll start to see the relationships get built into this new environment as the services start firing up, the things start happening. Uh, but this is a, a good demonstration illustrating that we have the ability to monitor Kubernetes environments, monitor the microservices, how things are related, and keep it up to date in a, a near real-time situation.